All right. Let's do a quick cast. This won't take long. Uh, spoiler, I already texted you guys. This is my first win in under 20 minutes. Like, first legit win. Decided to play a quick game while the kids are at soccer. Dogs are fighting in the background, so sorry for any noise. But I really wanted to watch this because I feel like my build, I never know what to do with water. Like, I like four lakes, but at the same time, my build was trash, <laughs> as you will see. Anyways, I decided to go as Magyar. I decided my plan was to go into a scout rush into a castle with cav archers. Um, other side, I have Incas to face against, who we'll, we'll get to what some weird things he did. Anyways, let's skip forward a little bit. Typical scout around. Scout faster. Oh, that was nice. Four sheep were all in the same area. I mean, first thing I noticed with my base is it's going to be hard to wall. I, mean, I, I could probably somehow connect these over here. But all my wood is in the back, which isn't bad. That's no, an easy wall here. Build lumber over here. Wall to the water, save my dock. Well, I, I realized that eventually once I finish scouting. Which I don't know. Ah, I kind of see it. His base in there, he has actually kind of similar. Very open in the front. Two forward golds. Of course, my golds are also forward. So I build orders. I wanted to go scout, so I wanted to get up. But I also wanted to build fishing ships. So I built the dock for the mill. Uh, I just felt off. Chopping, chopping wood. Oh, yeah, I got a little too close to throw another. So my scouts over here. I also think he leaned to me at one point when I was looking at his base. So I have these four sheep here. Let's keep track of that. My scouts up there. I see him. What? Maybe I don't need a mill. Maybe I should go more heavy wood with more fishing ships. I'm not sure. Maybe that was my mistake on four lakes. But I do click up. I only have three fishing ships. So I'm not really producing more because I need the wood. Yep, right there. There go my sheep. He killed one. Killed two? And I was even paying, trying to pay attention for it. I lost. I think he killed two, and he's taken. This is the ship. I kept hearing ding ding with the the sheep. I kept looking over at my scout. This is the one I kept taking. Ah, uh, see, I had to go to farms a little earlier than I wanted, which cost me some wood. I mean, that's when my build order got messed up. That's three farms I didn't want to drop yet. Alright, he decides to build some walls. Some very weird long walls rather than going straight. So why wouldn't you just go straight down? I'll slow down for a second. So I'm in feudal. See the villager out there. I'm just now getting my stable down, even though I've been in feudal for a bit. I think that sheep's what hurt me. Anyway, so I kill one villager with very little health lost. That's why I guess kind of makes sense. He's looking at being the relic later. Still not building scouts yet, so as you can tell, my uh, scout rush isn't very rushy. Rushy? I don't know if that's a word. Anyways, I'm not going to fight two on one. So I just decided to slowly start making a house wall. My plan was to go to the stone, cut over to the water. I think I wanted to go to this stone, this gold, and somehow cut down the wood or something. I hadn't thought that far. My plan was to get scouts out. But still, his walls... I think he's building... I don't understand what the point of that wall over there was. So I think I queued up my scouts. Yeah, I queued up my scouts to go up here. I don't know why I did so far away. I, I don't think I wanted to hit the eagles to see. Uh, 
come in. Again, I see two. I don't want to take them on solo with my starting scout. I did do the thing that Zach told us. I put them all on stand ground so they would attack the right villager. I kind of do a little loopy loop. That's one more down. Of course, the only downside of stand ground is if you're not um, looking away, building farms and stuff. They don't go to attack the next villager that's right there. TC, idling his TC. I don't know if he was trying to go for a fast house or something, but he didn't go for any gold. If I get him all of his food, he puts onto walls. Once I attack the wall, I think I look back here and put do some stuff. I don't remember what. Alright, I built some more houses. Great really just Larry had seven on gold. I need more food. I was looking to go to castle here shortly. Of course, looking at this now, I should have clicked a castle, but I'm not paying attention to my eco. Oh man, I could have clicked a castle. So I get eco upgrades. Oh man, that was another mistake I made. Oh yeah, and no, we gotta protect this relic over here with these walls. Don't mind that we can get through over there. Anyways, I see the gold over here, start attacking. Still only had two, e I grabbed my third, I decided to die, take a few shots. See a villager outside the wall. I decided to start my own walls like I said earlier. I see the spear, and I know this isn't finished with the villager going back, so another free vil kill. He's so worried about walling. I figure I've done pretty good damage. I want to just dive this. I still not up the castle. Holy crap. And he just quits. Oh, man. That could have been much worse against a better player. I could have gone to castle... What was it, 15 minutes in game time I should have been able to up, go up? Man, we can castle at 18 minutes, pumping out knights out against a better player. Because he, had he gone to gold at all, he would have been up. Well, whoops, the wrong button. There's really not many stats to look at. I had six kills, one death, army high of four. Much better economy collected, because I, I don't mind at all. More villagers. I mean, I killed six of his, but he's six short. Not much more idle time than me. But a lot of idle eco. Alright, well, that's my uh, my game. Nice, quick, hopefully. I don't know how long this has been going on. Ah, eight minutes. Perfect. Nice little quick lunch break one.